Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, I have a spooky own beads video to share with you of two new pieces from their Halloween collection. The Halloween collection, along with the other items from the September release, will be launching on September 29th, 2022. And I'm so excited to share these two beads with you guys. They're so spooky and fun, and I'm very excited to add them onto my Halloween own beads bracelet. You might have remembered my Halloween bracelet from a couple years back. I have since updated that design, but you're kind of seeing a sneak peek of it here. So I'm probably going to be filming a new video on it, as well as with the additions of these two new beads. I think they're probably going to be added on here too, so maybe I'll show you a before and after. But the two beads you guys are going to be seeing in today's video are Love Trap which retails for $55 US and here for the booze, which releases for $55 US. Both beads are sterling silver and have so many fun details. They both kind of have an open work design to them as well. So if you're ready, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea or your choice of beverage. I am enjoying my favorite fall staple, which is pumpkin pie matcha from David's Tea. I added some oat milk in it. And it is so delicious, you guys. I haven't linked in the description bar down below if you're interested in trying. It is so good. Anyway, without further ado, virtual cheers, and let's get started. A huge thank you to Own Beads for sending me these beads to review and style with, as well as to this community, as I wouldn't have opportunities like this without each and every one of you. So thank you so much. The first bead you're seeing here on the screen is called Love Trap, and it is an open work design, and it's a heart with this amazing cobweb detailing and a little spider that dangles down below. It is a beautiful open work design. You can wear it as a pendant or on a bracelet. I'm most likely gonna wear it as both, but I definitely see myself enjoying wearing this as a pendant. It's just such a nice size. It's very much a statement piece. When I first saw it, I thought it would be smaller, and when I received it, the size was just amazing. You'll see later in this video a little bit like um, bead comparison with, with an alternative bead so you can kind of get a sense of the size. But it's so pretty and it is lightweight. Here's a look at the spider, like so spooky dangling down below, like such a fun detail. And I love the cobweb details to it and the heart shape. It's just so unique and spooktacular for the Halloween season. Here's a little bit about what Ohm Beats has to say about this bead. Ohm celebrates this complex lady vampire, the first web designer ready to catch the beautiful, painful, thrilling, many faceted aspects of a complicated love. Love Trap is an intricate, open silver web heart shaped design and ready as the lady herself hangs waiting beneath it. Are you unsuspecting victim of love's entanglements? Are you the mistress of your own destiny, casting your silken threads to the breeze and owning your strength and choices? Here comes love, take a bite. The next spectacular bead I have to share with you is called Here for the Booze. And oh my gosh, this ghost is adorable. I love him so much. He is semi like an open work design because he's quite hollow. And he has a friend. He was originally based from the design of Ghost of Marley, which released in a previous Halloween collection from Omis. I do have a video on him if you'd like to see that. I'll leave a link up above the screen right now. But here for the booze is spectacular, you guys. Like, I love him. And basically, he's here for the B-O-O-S, which I love, like, you know what I mean? Like, the pun with it. It is adorable and cute, the double meaning. And he is just spectacular. I love he is, like, wine on one side, like, the spirit's and then he has either like a can of beer or a mug kind of there. And there's so many detailings on here. Now he kind of rests like he's in a floating position, as you guys can kind of see. So when he's on your bracelet, he kind of falls forward. But depending on how you style him, you can kind of frame him to stay upright as well. But it kind of looks like he's like in flying position. And here is a close up detail you can see of the wine bottle with the Ohm logo on it. And what's also really cool about these little details is like there's some other little details on that. Like I think it's like a beer can that he's holding. It's kind of hard to tell. It could be quite a few different things, cider maybe, but it's so neat. I like his little eyes too. The detail on there is so fun. Here is another look at the beer can or whatever you want to call the little details on the bottom of it. I just think it's so clever, you guys. Ohm. You guys do such a great job on these beads. I get so excited. He's very shiny. He really catches the light. And I'm very excited to style him on my Halloween bracelet. He's going to complement Ghost of Marley perfectly. Ghost of Marley is currently my centerpiece. So probably for my love of symmetry, I'm going to have these two, you know, like side by side somewhere on the bracelet. So potentially I might put Love Trap 
in the center. We'll see. I kind of love it as a pendant too. Here is another look at him at the front, as you saw probably slightly earlier, where the hallmarks are. They're on the inside of him. And guys, he's just so fun. Like if you love Halloween like me, he is just such a must. Now here is a look at both beads on my own twisted bangle. This is a dirty own bangle, kind of spectacular for Halloween vibes. And you can kind of get a sense of the size of both of them. So as you can see, Love Trap is quite big. It's a lovely statement piece. And I'm just putting it on so you can see the kind of the beads in motion on my wrist and kind of how they rest. And what's interesting and good to note is that here for the boots, he does actually stay upright on his own once it's on your wrist. So I didn't even think about that. Just when I like was holding it up, he kept falling kind of flying position, but on my wrist, he stays in place, which is wonderful. And I love how there's the dangling effects on both. It's so fun. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my preview of these two spectacular beads that are going to be releasing on September 29th. Feel free to use my code EMILY to save 22% off Ombi's flower and nature themed beads. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, a great week ahead, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.